Hello everyone, in this video we will calculate the strangle area using two different methods. Well, this is 40 units and CE is 25 units. The base angles ratio is 2 and the area is asked. First step. I want to get an isosceles triangle. Therefore, this angle must be alpha and these two sides must be equal. Let's call here P points. DP is also 25 units. Okay. We will calculate the string area. So we need the height of the string, right? Therefore, let's draw a perpendicular line and let's call here A and H. In this triangle, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, h square plus a square equal twenty five squared. In this triangle, let's apply Pythagorean theorem h squared plus 25 plus a whole squared equal 40 squared h squared plus 25 squared plus 50 a plus a squared equal 1600 okay A squared plus A squared equals 625 plus 625 plus 50A equals 1600. 1250 plus 50a equals 1600 50a equals 1600 minus 1250 therefore a is going to be 7 units now we can calculate the height easily, right? A squared plus A squared equals 25 squared. A squared plus 7 squared equals 25 squared. A squared equals 625 minus 49. So, H is going to be 24 units. Okay. Now, we can calculate the area very easily. This side, A is 7 units and this length is also 7. Therefore, the base is 39 units the area will be equal 1 over 2 times height is 24 times the base is 39 therefore the area will be equal 12 times 39 so the area is going to be 400 68 units. Okay. 
Now we will calculate the triangle area using sine for second method. So here is alpha, here is 2 alpha, therefore this angle must be 180 minus 3 alpha. Let's plug in the formula. The area is equal 1 over 2 times 40 times 25 times sine 180 minus 3 alpha. So the area is equal 500 sine 100 minus 3 alpha is equal sine 3 alpha. 500 sine 3 alpha is equal Three times sine alpha minus four times sine cubed alpha. So if we calculate the sine alpha, we will get the area, right? Okay, let's apply sine rule. equal 40 over sine 2 alpha sine 2 alpha over sine alpha is equal 40 over 25 so sine 2 alpha is equal 2 times sine alpha times sine alpha over sine alpha equal let's simplify the equation 8 over 5 these are gone therefore cosine alpha is going to be 4 over 5 okay but we need sine alpha, so let's draw a right triangle. Hypotenuse must be 5. Let's call here y units. y squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So y is going to be. Three units. Therefore, sine alpha is equal three over five. Let's plug in the formula. Five hundred in parentheses. Three times sine alpha is three over five minus 4 times sine cube alpha is 27 over 125 let's simplify the expression nine hundred minus six sixteen times 27 so the area is going to be 400 68 units squared thanks